Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be taking a look at the Shoulder Pod R2 Pocket Rig. Now this is a really awesome way to get attachments for things like microphones, flash, external battery packs or anything you can think of that uses a normal cold shoe mount. So let's take a look. Now ShoulderPod did send this out for review, however all of the thoughts and opinions in this video are going to be my own and I'm going to have links in the description down below so you can pick one up for yourself. Now for something as simple as a grip that holds your mobile device, the presentation and unboxing experience is really awesome. You first off get a little booklet here that has all the information about ShoulderPod and other devices that they offer, and then you've actually got the gear itself which is presented really well inside the packaging. First off in the packaging is a handle machined in Sapili wood with a rubber pad which protects both ends. Next up then you have the mounting plate which is made of aluminium and it's also finished in the exact same wood and it looks really awesome with this wood and matte black metal design. You've then got the main part here which is the adjustable grip which can be purchased separately from shoulder pod and it's actually really awesome. It's made of an ABS polymer with metal inserts that's so really sturdy and it's also got some rubber pads on the top and the bottom to protect your device. For safety you've also got a canvas wrist strap which is finished in a really awesome brown suede leather and it's really sturdy so this thing is not going anywhere if you're actually using the wrist strap which I think you should. And then lastly we've got a separate cold shoe mount which I'm going to explain what this is used for a bit later on in the video. And once everything's put together this thing looks awesome, it's really sturdy, I really am enjoying the wood and the matte black finish and just in general it's something that's really handy in terms of helping to stabilise some video and just in general add some extra you know accessories to your mobile device in terms of video footage or photography now can it fit in a pocket well kind of and, and kind of not um it does look a little bit strange so i wouldn't really recommend it i'd definitely put it into a bag so what we're going to be doing now is taking a look at some of the footage taken with the shoulder pod r2 rig to see exactly how it helps and just in general how it looks So as you can see the video looks really awesome but for me the main part with the R2 pocket rig is the fact that you can have additional things on your mobile device as you can see just here. So I've got here my Rode video mic and in general it's a really awesome way to get some extra functionality when you are doing video on your mobile phone. You can add things like a microphone like I've done here, you can add a flash or a light if you want to do some low light or nighttime photography or you can just add an external battery pack to get some really long times of shooting video. Now is it necessarily the best thing and the most convenient thing? Well not necessarily, once you've got everything on the actual rig itself it can be a little bit bulky and just in general a little bit finicky to use and in my instance my actual microphone is slightly too big so I have to have it off center a bit otherwise it's going to appear in the video and as you can see here I've actually got my Galaxy S7 all the way over to the right hand side to try and prevent anything from being in the frame but occasionally the actual microphone did creep in every now and then. But to be honest guys if you are looking at stepping up your video game using your mobile device then this is something that I would definitely recommend. With the video cameras and just in general cameras in smartphones these days getting extremely extremely good and sometimes better than point and shoot cameras. Keep in mind guys that I'm filming this on a Canon 760D and it doesn't do 4K video recording but my Galaxy S7 and a lot of other mobile devices do and they've also got some really awesome stabilization built in as well so a load more people are using their device for general kind of photography or for professional photography whether that's YouTube or everyday filmmaking. But that is going to do it guys for this video and as I mentioned at the start I'm going to have links to everything in the description down below and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and if you've got any questions hit me up in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more great content. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.